Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started in property if you've got no money. A lot of you know that my background, I made a lot of my money in 2008 when the properties kind of went like this. Now, why? Because when everyone is selling, you should be buying. So I'll tell you a little story about how one of our students, in fact, one of my one of my teachers in property, his name is Vincent Wong. He has a student, his name is uh, Daniel Kennedy. So how did Daniel Kennedy get involved in property? He attended one of our training programs. He was able to then uh, have the knowledge to be able to buy the first property in terms of what we call a flip. So how does that work? It's really simple. You There's a saying that says, if you find the deal, the deal will find you. Now, how true is that? I can definitely tell you it's true for my case. It's definitely true for Daniel's case. You've just got to go out and source the property deals, right? Find them. And I'm sure if you speak to enough people, you'll find people who need to sell the property now, who need to sell the property because of a specific reason. But the whole idea, idea of this, you want to find somebody who needs to sell the property. And the, the key here is they want to sell it at a discount. How does this get you started in property? So let's say, again, let's keep the figures very simple. Let's say you buy a property for 100,000. Well, that's what the property is worth. But you're able to negotiate it to, to say, 80,000, right? So you got a 20 20% 20 discount there. If you could find somebody else and say, look, the property's worth 100, you're going to buy it for 80 and you're going to sell it to somebody else at 85. So, and that's how Daniel started. He started finding and sorting these properties using some of Vincent Wong's strategies. He was literally, I guess, selling and reassigning these deals to other investors. That's one of the best ways you can get started in property because there's no risk for you. I mean, okay, your risk is time. You've got a bit of time. But imagine right now that you can go out there and you can find people who have to sell the property and guess one of the best ways to do that is to use social media. That's why I teach the three-day social media business bootcamp to be able to get a lot of awareness really fast, really quick. For example, right now I have 5 million people that follow me on social media. If I was to make a post on Instagram, for example, I have over 2.2 million people on Instagram. If I make a post and I say, hey, comment yes if you know somebody who's selling a property or DM me as in send me a, a direct message if you know someone who's selling the property. So let's say I was just starting off in property. Let's say right now I was just starting off. I would build a following on social media and then I would start literally have one to many and get my message out to a lot of people and say, hey, look, how many of you right now look at know someone who wants to sell a property? And then I, I would start building up all these people that I need to sell a property. And so once I kind of got, got an inkling of, of who wants to sell, then I'll find people that want to buy. So then I'll start building an investor list. So then I'll start saying, hey, by the way, I've come across people who need to sell the property and they're willing to take a discount for their property. Is that something you're interested in? And literally all I, so for example, I could set up a URL called johnlee.ws forward slash property. And in fact, you could actually do this. You can actually set up a, a very simple, in fact, I'll bring it up for you so you can see it. So you could just create a, a what we call a Google form. So because a lot of people, they're not good with technical stuff. So I literally set this Google form up in less than what, five minutes, you can see. And you know, you, you can actually set it up and you can put the first name. So you just put a title there. So for example, John Lee UK, London property investment opportunity. So but if you're in a different country, you could say Singapore opportunities. And then you just put in the first name, email address, number. Obviously, you also want to know if anyone's actually invested in property before so you kind of know the experience level and uh, their risk appetite is it low risk medium risk or high risk also as well you got to know how much funds they have to invest so let's say you've got a property that's a million pound property deal but someone's only got less than fifty thousand to invest you probably wouldn't offer it to them then you want to ask them how how fast can they access the funds so the one of the reasons why people sell the property at a discount is because they need to sell it in a very short period of time i'm talking about 30 days so if it takes them three months you would then not show them that deal and then you also say, well, how many properties do they own? So you could, I literally knock this up in five minutes. Go to Google Forms, create a little form like this. That's an example. And then you can actually have all your people who want to sell, have all the people that want to buy, and then you just put them together. So let's say something comes in in London for a million pounds and you can negotiate to 800,000. And by the way, just so you know, the deals that I've been offered over the last three months, I'm talking about you know, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000 pound discounts, which is insane. So I've never heard before, especially in, in London. And what I'm telling you right now there's lots of great deals to be had especially in a downturn that's where a lot of millionaires are made if you look at the word crisis i say this in a lot of my boot camps the, the word crisis in chinese is made up of two characters it's called weiti and one word means danger the other one means opportunity so in every crisis there's an opportunity in every pandemic there's an opportunity the question is are you educated to see those opportunities and so that's why if you want to start off and you don't have the money to invest in property you don't have the money to buy invest in property yourself start off like daniel did daniel started buying lots of properties because he was able to flip a lot of properties 
lease and get enough money for deposit to buy his first property. And then he started using that little strategy I shared with you where you can, you know, go to investors and say, look, you know, just let me know, you know how much you want to invest and where you want to buy. And if one comes up, I'll let you know. You don't have to use the form. You can just have people send you an email, right? As long as you kind of know, then you can, then, then you can sort of mit, you can match people to the deals. And then when those deals come, you can charge a fee for it. And what you could do is you find the deals. You could also have that person buy that property and you own an equity partnership of that, you know? So that's another way you could do it. But again, you know, I learned there's actually a really good book called Property Entrepreneur, which is that orange book back there. It's written by my business partner, Vincent Wong. You definitely check that out because it talks about how to buy property as an entrepreneur versus a buy to let landlord. Very, very different. So, uh, really hope that you got a lot of value from this. And if you like this, hit that like button right now. So YouTube can, can you know, help the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you don't want to miss out on all my new videos, hit the subscribe button right now and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload a video. And if you've got any questions, leave a question below um, and I'll personally come in and answer that. If you want me to create other videos, let me know what videos you want, to, want me to create and I'll create a video on that for all of you because I want to really give back to the community. Other than that, this is John Lee, the author of Business Hack. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.